Mm, thank you, Jesus. Take your Bible. Turn your Bible with me right now, church, to the book of Judges. The book of Judges. Judges 13 and verse number 1 coming. Judges chapter what? And verse number 1 coming. Shout hallelujah. As I Chris read, I think you went all the way to Jerusalem, eh? Are you okay? You sure? God bless you. <laughs> Judges 13. MC forgot to introduce the man. So that's why I asked you, maybe you went to Jerusalem. <laughs> so welcome back from Freetown. Man, 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 Monday, am I right? Monday. And I don't know because I'm Timini guy, that's why the man didn't want to. Uh, but whether he like it or not, I'm still Timini. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, I'm from McKinney. Shout hallelujah. So Monday man, read. And let's go. <laughs> Are you here? Judges, Judges you, 13 verse 1. Judges 13 and verse number 1. Come. Again, the Israelite did evil in the eyes okay. of the Lord. Sit. You can sit down. Okay, go ahead. Again, the Israelite did evil in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Philistines for 40 years. A certain man... Hold on. The Israelites did what? Evil. Evil. Sin. Against God. They disobeyed God. And God gave them unto what? Israelites. For yeah. how many years? 40 years. Into captivity. Hmm. You know how sin can... Hmm. 40, in bondage. 40 what? 40 years. And said, that may you go and suffer. Because of your what? Disobedience, sin. Go. 40 years. Shout hallelujah. And at that 40 years, something happened. Chris, go ahead. A certain man of Zorah named Manoah. Manoah. From the clan of that from the clan of Denit, Denit, Denit yeah. had a wife who was sterile and remained childless. Uh -huh. The Lord appeared to her and said, You are sterile and childless, but you are going to conceive and have a son. Now see to it that you drink no wine or Hold on. Water. You are going to conceive and have a what? A bouncing baby boy. But see to it that you will not drink, number one, what? Wine. Everybody say wine. Yes. Do you, uh, do you have one at home? Do you have some in your fridge? When you go home today, let it out. Because there is something in your stomach. There is something in your what? In your stomach. The first day, I would, this, I would be on your feet. I would came all the way from Texas. And Joyce preached the kingdom. Preached to this guy called Howard. He was a very stubborn guy. And Joyce said, that Howard, give your life to Christ in the whole thing. And Howard gave his life to God. It's Joyce that preached this wonderful man. Shout hallelujah. And one powerful revival, Mantorinia, in those days. Here comes a powerful guy called Howard. And Frank Jumot didn't know Howard. And come and see dance. It's not today. Oh. The man started from long, long, long. The man started jumping, going like this. I said, hey, where from this guy? South hallelujah. All the way from Texas. And God Almighty, you know, started doing mighty things upon the life of this one. And there was a faithful day. I think it was one Friday or something. Faithful day. I went to Mr. Jones' place and we started talking and I started, you know, teaching these wonderful people. And Joe, 
Holy Spirit touched Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe said, Angie, wait. In it, you know, he bought something. Wait, like I'm coming. <laughs> Joe went to the basement. Come and see, drench, alcohol. Bam, 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 bam. He said, Angie, wait. Upstairs, uh, garage, alcohol. Joe opened the head, you know, started pouring everything. And that one was sitting, ah, friend. No knowing that he too has already stored something. And that day, Holy Ghost arrested all of them. They were not part of, at that time, listening to, you know, what did they call it? The board members said, no, no, no. They were just ordinary members. Shout hallelujah. And Holy Ghost started. Holy Ghost arrested all of them. Mr. Joe said, enough is enough. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Why God? Tell that wonderful woman that you don't have to drink what? No wine. wine. Do not touch alcohol. Don't drink wine. Because there is a giant in your womb. When you drink wine, you will break the guy. When you drink wine, you will defile the world, the guy. When you drink wine, lo and behold, the strength of that guy will live. Do not touch anything. It was a powerful command. Shout hallelujah. This end time Christians who said, you know, according to doctor, they say that small one is good for the heart. It's good for that. Please, go and do exercise. Do walk one hour. Cardio. Tread me, just run. No, church, I'm here to tell you. No one can restore your heart or will put something. What you need is exercise. What you need is what? Do cardio. Because that boy will be a special boy. A Nazareth that will fight against Philistines, do not drink wine. That was number one. And number two was what? Then now see to it that you do not drink no wine, uh -huh. no other fermented drink, uh -huh. and that you do no not No other fermented what? Fermented you drink. You can name them. This time we have different types. When you go to Africa, that one. Africa one church is more dangerous. The moment that thing landed, you know, in your stomach, you the person's face will, will change. I told you, if it's good, how come your face change? It means that that thing that is, when they feel, they will do something. You are going crazy. Be very careful. Shout hallelujah. Apathy. Visitant. Ogogoro, kekabiche na wasi. Don't matter the. Everybody shout hallelujah. When you push me, I push you. And let me tell you this: the one set time, you know, I preach about this thing. Go to a drunkard and learn. Long, 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 long time ago, they love themselves. Ha! Money when they meet. Oh, oh, go away, go away. Hey. Come, you know, I just bought something. Let's share. I don't have money today. Let's share. They will share the kind of love. They love themselves. But Christians, we don't love themselves. Am I right? I told you, they share. Today, if that one has money, the person will buy one bottle. Let's drink. Tomorrow, if this one doesn't have money, another one will buy. Let's share. Church, and they communicate, they talk to each other. If you need information, powerful one, go to that place. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Where we live back home yesterday, Jesse told me, uh, 
a certain uh, alcoholic you know, two bog uh, rasta and kojobesia kojobesia mean kojo girl which kojo is a boy a guy but they called him what kojobesia shout hallelujah a certain wonderful man you know traveled away the man is in abroad somewhere and you know his wife started sleeping around young young guys you know in the hotel you know moving up and down and do you know what happened? The guy landed. Somebody told that guy that if you need information about your wife, call these two powerful people. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. The man called them, bought them bush meat, gave them drink, sat them down, started talking. He said, Charlie, you guys must, you have to go. The man has a powerful car, air conditioning, put them, this one was sitting beside the man, and the one was at the back airport area. The man was moving them. The man asked them, how are things in the hotel? This go, ah, come and see, they started. Uh, brother, your wife, ah, we can see this one. I know the house, I can go and show you. I know this one, hey, 7 p.m., we'll go there. Don't let her know that you are around. Go and hide yourself. Church, do you know that they took the man straight to the woman's boyfriend? Ah, if you need information, Shout hallelujah. Why you don't have to drink alcohol? Do not touch anything. Please go ahead. Please. And let's proceed right now. Uh -huh. Or other fermented drinks. Uh -huh. And that you do not eat anything unclean. Uh -huh. Because you will conceive and give birth to a son. No razor may be used on his head. Hold on. No razor may be what? Used. used Listen to me. His... Listen to me. Look at somebody and say you are a special. Look at someone say you are special. I'm special. You are a powerful tool in the hands of God. Once again, look at someone and say you are special. You are special. Very special. I am very special. Let me tell you something. Special people, those who can see themselves as special world in the sight of God, eh, will not behave just any how. If you are special, you have to do things special. If you are special in the sight of God, you have to talk special. You have to eat special. You have to stick to special people. Yeah. Madam, you are now found favor in the sight of God. You are going to be a special woman and this is the direction. You are going to conceive and give birth to a bouncing baby boy. His name shall be what? Call what? Something. But do not drink any wine. Do not touch anything. Because a special baby is about to what? Come out. It's special. Shout hallelujah. And we all know that the woman didn't touch any alcohol, nothing. And lo and behold, the girl called Samson and Nazareth, someone that had been set apart, came out. And God used him against the enemies. God gave him powerful strength. By the way, let me tell you something. The dread laws of Samson It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Powerful one. Seven. Somebody will say that I'm a Nazareth. But please. I can't see seven dwellers. Yours is more than 32, 34. Oh, something was a Nazareth, so me too, I am a Nazareth. God gave that guy a specific power, supernatural power, to deal against the world, the enemies. Shout hallelujah. Listen to me. The devil is not after your brothers. The devil is not after your sisters. But the devil is after that giant 
in that family. And who is that giant? I don't know. Because if the enemy can capture that giant, it means that all oh, he can conquer them. The time David killed Goliath, we all know that all the Philistines started what? Running. Why? Because the major general, a whole leader, is gone. So how can we stand? And all of them started. There is a giant in you and there is a supernatural seed that the Lord has already released into your spirit. That is the reason why Satan is after you but not after your sisters. Because if Satan can get you as Muhammad or Satan can get you as Akano, I am telling you that devil can get the rest. There is a giant. And a giant must be careful, number one. Amen. And a giant, oh my God, everybody shout hallelujah. A giant, you don't have to mingle yourself with other people. A giant has to be wise, vigilant. Powerful giant. This man came and started his ministry. And do you know what happened? This girl fell in love. Fell in what? In love. Love is something, oh. Love. That L O V G. Four letters. That four letters has killed many people. It has already destroyed lives, it's many people. Love. Love. At times you can see a pretty lady, powerful lady, and the lady will be crying because of what? Love. And pardon me to use this word. When you see the face of that guy, the reason why that lady, you will know that things are not right. You, you, you will know that church on this earth, eh? <laughs> Something has gone wrong. And when you see a guy that will tell Danny, I said, I don't love you, eh? I don't love you. I go, oh, Danny, Danny, don't let me. I will die. At the time, you can look and shake your head. And if you have power, you will give. This one doesn't need a mountain oil. I thought there are some certain things need physical so that the person will come back to love. L O V. L O what? V. Love. Love is something. But I am here to prove to you love must have eye. A love that doesn't have eyes, that is stupid love. Love must have what? I. By the time I finish, you will know. This guy fell in love with this lady called uh, Delilah. Not knowing that that woman became an agent of Satan against that giant. Today, I am here to prophesy to you any agent award of Satan against your destiny will crash into pieces. I didn't hear amen. Any agent against my destiny, against your destiny, against the destiny of your children, must crash, must crash into pieces. Any agent against your destiny, any agent against your vision, must crash. If I'm prophesying to somebody, shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Look unto somebody and say, I prophesy to you. Any agent, prophesy, say any agent against your destiny, against my life, must be crushed. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Any agent against your business will be crushed. 
any agent that the enemy has released against your business may the Lord fish them out may the Lord expose them if I'm speaking to somebody shout hallelujah any agent against my destiny must come out any agent against my life must come out any agent against your life must come out say I receive it and may you make a joyful noise unto them let me hear the sound of the organ right now shout hallelujah look unto your neighbor and say neighbor any agent against my destiny against my future against my life against my health against the life of my children by the time i finish this sermon all of them will crash into pieces they will break into pieces any assigned agent against your ministry against my ministry must be crushed shout hallelujah oh can i hear your voice may you make a joyful noise make a joyful noise shout Church, do not depend on your own strength. Do not depend on your own knowledge. But you must depend on God. If this guy called something could have depended on God, he couldn't have ended up in the house of Delilah. But the man depended on his own strength. At times you can hear this man of God. My anointing. My anointing. Do you have anointing? Frank Juma doesn't have anointing. But my anointing and my strength coming from above. When he speak, I speak. When he says sit, I sit. My anointing, my anointing, my anointing. Do you have anointing? Anointing is from God. Anointing is from above. And the oil that is upon my life is not my property. The oil belongs to God. And that oil has some kind of principles. The things that I have to do so that the oil will continue to rest. There are some things I have to do. What do you have to do? Live right. Be a prayerful person. Be vigilant. That's it. Shout hallelujah. The guy depended on his own what? Strength. Howard. A mighty guy. Ended up in the house of what? Agent Delilah. That we all know that the authorities, the rulers in that what? Uh, uh, that place. What did they call it? Finish time. Eh? Hired that woman and that woman became an what? Agent. He said that there is somebody that we want to break. There is someone that we want to crush. Can we work with you? Agent. Agent. The guy was working with agent, dealing with agent, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, sleeping with agent, eating agent man, uh, uh, food. Didn't know that that woman was an agent. Today may the grace of God deliver you and I from every agent, any agent that have been assigned against the church, that are assigned against you. May the Lord deliver you and I. We will never fall into the trap of agents. You will never fall into the trap of agents. I will never fall into the trap of an agent. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. I prophesy to you that any pit that they've already dug for you, your God will cause the angels to hold you and you will never fall into any pit of an agent. Yes, Lord. Shout hallelujah. How can you know that agent? And how can you see that agent? 
stretch is not on their forehead but how can you see it that woman i believe that cooked for my brother called something that they enjoyed they did many things the same bed not knowing that the guy every day and day out was lying with what an agent but didn't know and the woman started walking Daniel, can, Samson, can you show me where your power lies? Oh, when you tell me with seven robes and the whole thing. And indeed, that woman did. Ah, if my wife can ask me that, prophet, can you show me where power, your power lies? I say, my wife, when you prepare me green soup, my strength will leave. And my wife prepare a green soup. Ah, and I ate. Hey. When you tell me with a seven rope, I will become like weak. Am I right? And Samson, here comes your enemy. When Samson wake up, found out that indeed the woman has already attorney, and the man was still there. That is called love. That is called love. And it was not first time was second and third three times because of that ah okay first time let's check it that i was naive stupid in the whole thing and second time the woman did it ah brother brother which kind of stupid love and third time something here comes your enemy which he has to think and say that who is this woman? Is this lady an, a what? An, an agent or something in the whole thing that wants to break me or something? This woman must be an agent. But it never occurred, am I right? Until because of love. Because of love. Our girls in this house and our men in this house, shine your eye. It's not everything that glitters our what? Shout hallelujah. Shut your eyes. Your love must have eyes. You are dating someone which is in a Christian temptation. But this end time dating something is nasty. They will do everything that the married people have to do. Enjoy in the hotel we are dating. We will test you out when he become tired. We will dump you. Another one will come out. Are you on, on test uh, car? That any man that comes have to test, test, test. So, 100 men have to test. Enough is enough. Tell them that you are not that test, test car. You are special before God. You are something special in the hands of God. And at times, some guys will tell you that if I don't test, I can know that it's sweet. And for me to buy. If it's not sweet or not sweet or something, go away. If you are ready to buy, buy it. Because it, can be go it has been going on test, 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 test. And right now, I am telling you, in this Maryland, your name is all over. It has already spread from here to New York. That when they mention something, 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 everybody knows. Enough is enough. If you don't take care very soon, any guy that will try to come, they will say, that, oh, I've been there before, I've been there. And men will begin to run. Project yourself. Respect yourself. Say to yourself that enough is enough. I'm a beautiful lady. Anyone that lost me will come. Hey, that's a man, attorney. Hey, let them test. Let them try. They are selfish. They will go away. They are not genuine guys. So for you to give doesn't mean that the person is going to stay. We have some guys out there. They are doing test, test, test. Everyone. They have girlfriend in Philadelphia. They have girlfriend in Montana. They have girlfriend in a, a Silver Spring. They have another one in Potomac. They have another one. Stupid guys moving around. You need somebody who fear God. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at someone and say, shine your eye. Look at someone and say, open your eyes. Look at someone and say, your love must have what? 
Ah, you are dating someone, talking to someone right now, and that person has already given you some kind of restriction, something. Do not visit me at 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Don't call my phone. You know, respect my privacy. Ah. I am going to marry you. Am I right? We are going to be husband and wife. There is nothing you have to hide it from me. Like, let's take it. I will tell Pastor Vivian, uh, my wife, uh, you know, uh, Pastor Vivian, this room you can enter. This room you can enter. But that room at the basement, do not enter. It's holy of holy. My wife, open that door. You have, you have to see something that is there. Open it. As a husband, you have to be transparent. Wife, you have to be transparent. Which kind of room that you alone have to be entered? And anytime you want to enter, you will use your back. Like a, a, a frog. There is something inside. Open that door. Transparency brings trust. So if you are transparent, the person will trust you. We have some guys, their tongue eh, is the password of their phone. They use their tongue to unlock their phones. Tomp, it won't work. Their tongue. Mm, ah, okay. It will come. Shout hallelujah. That somebody sent me something. I don't know if it was true. A guy that was on a stretcher, they were going to do surgery. Somebody sent it to me. Surgery. And the guy uh, uh, found out that uh, uh, he left her, his phone inside the house. Told the doctor that, stop! Jump from the sick bed. I'm going to get it from her. What is inside? What is there that you don't want? There are some ladies in this house their phone is here. They will turn to left and right. They will open this one, open this one, go under. Hello, you are a suspect. And there are some guys who, I can't mention it here. They put it under. Midnight. When you joke with your phones, they can kill you. Because the things they have, transparency bring what? Trust. Your wife is the one, excuse me, that time we sweep the house and the hotel. What about that room? That is my prayer room. So your prayer room, your wife can not enter your prayer room. And you own your, own your children. Hey, Jason, do not enter. You hear me? You hear me? Hey, your father is a suspect. And you two said, okay, I hear you. I understand your private. You know, I have to give you your privacy. So 10 o'clock, no call. Church, I prophesy with my eyes open. Try to visit him at that time. And you will see the things you don't want to. You don't want to see. Am I, am I talking to someone? Am I speaking to somebody? And this guy fell in love, Antonio Cano, with a, what? an agent. And we all know that they hired that woman and they started paying that woman. And the reason why I can use the word agent is that, watch this. They told that woman that if you can give this guy, if the way, we will give you money. And the woman negotiated everything. Can you pay me? I need $20,000. Oh, we have to bring it down. $15,000. The woman started to say $18,000. You know, deal. Deal. Fifteen. I won't accept it. Eighteen. I will find out where his strength. You know, I will get everything. And the woman began with them. Accepted everything. Agent. And the man thought that, oh, I have found love. Not knowing that that man was dealing with an agent.
Shout hallelujah. Church, and it's rampant in the system. Whether you like it or not. Some men, excuse me, I'm not saying you may God forbid. Some men, their loved ones, they are an agent. There are some girls, their loved ones, husbands, who told you that it's only women, some of them that were red, red. There are some men to their wizards. Wizards. So for a man to, uh, if a man can marry the world, a witch, it means that a woman too can marry a world, a wizard. So a woman too can marry an agent. That is the reason why any relationship that you want to church jump into it, you have to check things first. That doesn't mean that excuse me, your wife or your husband or something, no. But I'm saying that if you are not and you are about to, shine your eyes. Shine your eyes. A certain young boy one time said, be very careful. Anytime you're, oh, no way, no way. Back home, man of God. The way the lady sings, oh my God. When you give the mouth to that lady, oh. And the guy started singing. Oh. This one is not dream or physical. It's a powerful voice. That lady indeed is from God. Oh my God. What a wonderful lady. Young boy said, be very careful. Three pastors, we told that. I think I was the second pastor of third. I said, be very careful. He said, oh, this prophet told me. Yes, second. This prophet told me. I said, okay. I said, check it. Another prophet confirmed. He said, watch out. The guy didn't listen nothing. White wedding. During the time of honeymoon, not knowing that the woman has already married a snake. Spiritual husband. Some of them, they have it on their tongue and some, they have it under. It's the spirit that tells them, I don't want to go into this. The time they have to do this, the time they have to do that, and the whole thing, I'm telling you. And after the honeymoon, Tafo, Ghana, Tafo, there used to be a powerful something that was the man's daughter, but I don't want to mention it. No knowing that that lady was an agent. <laughs> Went to uh, uh, what, what honeymoon, and young boy, a vibrant guy, have paid everything. Uh, it is time for me to what enjoy. The lady said, "I wait, wait, wait. I just came back." <laughs> this is my Bible. The guy run later on told me told the guy that confirmed me the whole thing. Run. It was midnight. I just came back, did not touch me. Because some of them, because they have spiritual husband, they don't like sex. And some, they like it. You enjoy snake and they'll be sitting somewhere. Shout hallelujah. And don't touch me, I just came back. The guy said, you just came back from where? Please, don't touch me, I just came back. The guy said, ah. Only move which we have to enjoy. The lady said that, don't touch me. Push the guy. The guy said, what? And you know, man's friend wanted to push the lady. The lady said, wait, wait, wait. Let me go to the kitchen. Can I have, you know, in those days, lighter uh, matches? <laughs> you know, those days, Africa ten. You know that thing? Uh -huh. The lady said, I need matches. The guy said, matches for what? He said, give it to me. The guy brought it. The lady opened here, excuse me, her tie. Use one match. Pew! Fire! Pew! Come and see small pastor. Open the door with a. I didn't know that you can light her here. Pow! Attorney. His T-shirt, shorts, no shoes. Open the door. Jump from the stairs. The lady was laughing. Pow, 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 pow. He said, come. Come. 
I don't know if the guy here come, come, come. <laughs> Went to the one that confirmed. The first one. Midnight. Bang, 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 prophet. Bang, 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 bang. Hey. Who? Bang, bang, prophet. You know, it's late. Where is your senior pastor? The one who blessed the marriage and the whole thing. Can, can we call? The guy called senior pastor. Oh, nothing. Come home. The guy went to the senior uh, pastor's house. Slept there morning. All the prophet that confirmed. I was the second, first, third, all of us. What happened? Narrated everything. Pow! Are you sure? Prophet, and the guy second day was still shaking. I saw it. It was God, God, God. We called the girl, invited the girl. The girl came. Yes. The girl didn't, you know, there was no struggle, nothing right away. Yes, I'm an agent. My grandmother gave it to me. At that 12 or 13 husbands, them, you know, I don't want to lie. May God, at that 12 or 13, long, long time, I have husbands. Not husbands, husbands in the whole thing. And you guys, do you know, you guys want this boy. And this boy didn't listen. And the reason why we got, didn't use I, use the word we got this one, was that we gave him food. Not dream of. So what do you want to do now? Do you want to let it go? Do you need deliverance? No. Do you want God to touch you? No. I never. I didn't marry this guy with love. I married this one because they wanted me to kill this one in six months' time. But by the way, I don't know the reason why I put the whole thing. They will punish me, but I don't know the reason why. Not knowing that God wanted to use those things and deliver that boy. We asked the guy, do you need deliverance? The guy said, no, pastors, please. I don't need deliverance. Because if a witch doesn't need deliverance, if they don't give up, there is no way you can force them. They will go and take it back. But when the person give up, then you can deliver that person. So we told that guy, warn that guy, be very careful. If not, do you know that that six months time the girl mentioned that we wanted to, I think it was six months or something, the girl died. The girl passed away. The girl refused, didn't. And no pastor, we didn't pray against the girl, nothing. So the girl died, okay. And they divorced right away. Right away. That one, do not come and tell me that what the Lord has put together, no man can put us in that. No, 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 no. But the Lord has put what? Light and darkness have nothing in common. So if you're a pastor, do not go in and say that what the Lord has put together, I will be, I won't talk. But you have to shine your eye. I won't come in so that you go and mention my name. But that one, you have to use wisdom. This is darkness and this is light. He said, what the Lord has put together, no one will put a sender. No one. The person is not ready even to give up. That person is still holding on. Doesn't want to be delivered. And you are still sitting on, hey, your God will continue to bless you. Doesn't make sense to someone. This guy fell in love with that strange woman, an agent. And tried, and on the fourth time, do you know what happened? Everybody said the fourth time. Do you know what happened? Let's jump into 16. And let me show you something. Judges 16 and verse number 13 coming. I will let you read Chris, very soon. Judges 16. Everybody, please, I want you to look at me. Watch this. This guy, we'll read very soon. This guy, Chris, open it now. This guy, you know, the fourth time, this guy said, do you know what the woman said? Something. Something. You don't love me. If indeed you love me, there is no way you hide it secret. There have to be transparency. I have to know your whereabouts. I must know your strength. 
and because of love. Because of what? Love. This guy opened his mouth and he said, I am a Nazareth. No rosa have what? Touch my head. And the day they will shave this seven grand law, my strength will leave me and I will become like an ordinary man. And as soon as this guy revealed the secret, this agent, that powerful agent, called all the authorities and said that this time you must come. He has revealed everything. No knowing that there was something going on behind that giant and that giant didn't know. The things that have been going on behind you and behind me, this after 21 days and fasting and prayers, church, God will reveal secret things. Any agent that has been assigned against your destiny and against my destiny must be exposed. I didn't hear amen. I said must be exposed. Must be exposed. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. Anyone that is behind your progress, behind your advancement, must be exposed. And according to the word of God, so shall he be. Any agent against your business must be exposed. Any agent that has been connected to your business as secretary, as a, a, you can name them, must be exposed. Do you know that you have your powerful business? If you don't know, then I want you to know. At times, Satan can connect some agents into your world, your business. They can set you up. They can cause some kind of errors and put you into problems. Any agent. If you love me, Pastor Rick, and if indeed it's a true love, why do you have to betray me? And that was not a true love. That is the reason why I can tell you this with due respect. That for you to have that seed is not good. You have to repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. Any covenant that you make with them, church, you can break it because of Christ and they cannot do you nothing. Some of them at times is because of the covenant. They are afraid that they will kill them. Because before they do those things, they let them swear, vow. But when you allow Christ in, there is no way they can attack you. Am I talking to somebody? An agent. This giant. Before Chris, you read. If you are a guy here, a pastor, honorable guy, Howard, Kent, everyone, oh my man, never in your life joke with the hands of women. Number one, they are what? They are hands. And number two, they are knees. Last, do not try. There is power here. They have it here. And this one, hey! Everybody say, hey! hey. Stella and Victor, come. <laughs> no, you guys should sit. Howard and just put your Bible down. Look at this. Hole. Everybody watch this. Howard the giant, Samson, powerful guy. May God forbid. This is Delilah, okay? <laughs> sit down. Look at this. Sister Delilah called all the authorities and said that now you must come. The guy has already revealed everything. And look at this. And this woman called Delilah put this giant into sleep. You are going to read. Put this guy into what? And this man's head was on top of a what? 
Go, go, go. Sleep. Look at this. I wanted to put a table so that everybody. I would push your push this and life good. Can you see the picture? Put A. Amen. Everybody who you are Father, have mercy on us. A giant that has to go out there and fight the enemies. Look at that giant. I will continue. Look at this. Use your hand, Rob. Uh, you know. Ah, uh, look at it. Started. Lo and behold, just two, three minutes. I know you always do that. Eh? The way you are doing it, uh, you're very smart in that area. You know what? The way you are doing. Yeah. Hey, everybody say hey. Everybody say hey. Look at men, oh. Look at we. A giant, just mere lady, just tiny lady, a tiny, a giant. His head was on top. That is called woman power. And my my brother started snoring. Put that guy into sleep. Didn't put any uh, food into his food. Though. No, 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 no. When the guy finished eating. And I believe that something happened. You know what I'm talking about? Something happened. The woman gave her something and started rubbing massage. Was looking at my brother's eye. Uh, honey, you know, your food was good. You started doing something like this. My brother was gone. And that one was a deep sleep. Because for somebody to shave your hair and the guy it was a deep sleep. It was a demonic sleep. And they cut his what? Seven dreadlocks. They shaved everything. A giant. Not knowing that the guy was dealing with a what? An agent. Church, don't get me wrong. Oh. We have powerful women in the whole thing. When you see a woman or a lady, don't run. And said, oh, this is one that prophet is talking about. One of them. <laughs> Even this day, when we go to church, I won't greet women. No, 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 no. Ah, women are dangerous. When you go to Africa, they can put it on their fear women so that you can live longer. No, church, they are stupid. They are foolish things. Without women, there is no way we can live. But this one, I'm talking about strange women. I'm not talking about good women. We have wonderful good women love their husbands they are not an agent always pray for them good things and the whole thing they want to see am, am i right they are not after money and those things do you know that we have ladies that they are after money ladies some ladies they are after money they are not after character they are not after beauty let me use the word beauty because the word of the lord said that in indeed soul was very beautiful so i can use beauty shout hallelujah some women, they don't care. So far as the man has money, they don't care. The kind of children they will produce, whether the monkey face or the something face, they don't care. But at times you have to care. So that your grandchildren will be nice kids, will be cute. Don't go and bring plain face something, something. So when your children stand somewhere, people will begin to collapse. Convulsion will begin to touch them. No. Do you want me to continue? Yeah. So you finish laughing, eh? <laughs> Child, I told you, it's part of those things. It's part. Small money, little money, small handsome, small one. You two are beautiful, you know, good gene and another gene, you know, you produce wonderful one. Am I right? Yeah. But I don't have a good face. What do you have to go and take a lady who doesn't have good face? 
I don't want my children in future to be Amara. If I don't have good face, I must get a wonderful, beautiful lady so that my children will be. Uh, uh -huh. If you know you are not handsome, get a beautiful lady. If you know you are not beautiful, get a handsome guy. Uh, no ugly plus ugly. It equals to monkey. Somebody should touch Anderson. This guy will call us. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, truth is the truth. And this is a conference. Just, am I lying? You have small money. That my face, I know that is like this. Get a beautiful something. Am I right? Yeah, so that your children will look like. Uh huh. But if you know, in Koye, now confirm Koye. It will become in years. Am I talking to somebody? At times you can ask some of the ladies, which type of God you want? Prophet, I don't care. At times you have to care. No, no, no. At times you have to care. Because, attorney, all the stress you go through in the whole thing from work, when you come home, you have to see a beautiful face so that it will encourage you. Uh, by the time you open the door, will be mm. <laughs> Let me finish preaching. I'm done. good preacher to teach you physical things shout hallelujah never in your life watch this never in your life if you are not married okay and if you want to get your loved one never in your life utter this way the prophet i want to take it as it is never as it is is over not this end time take your time because you are going to live with that person for the rest of your life. Don't go and bring Naban. If you are Abigail, do you want me to? My time is it. Hey, let me tell you. If you are an Abigail, and when you take Naban, it's good. It's what? It's good. Ask me. Abigail can use her wisdom to cover the husband. But if you know that you are Nabita, don't go and marry Naban. That is my own thing. Naban, a woman, Nabita girl. If you know that you have this, nothing, you don't have to. But if someone is wise, can use those things to cover that one. Does it make sense? Yeah. But I need it, you know, I've been waiting and waiting. Let me take it as it is. And when it is time for you to go to a certain function or something, you begin to hide that person. No, don't do that. Take someone that you know that I can take him or her to everywhere. I can present her. You know, that is the reason why this end time, attorney, this end time, many men, men, they are what? Falling. If you don't know, many, more. They are what? Falling now. Come here, Kent. They are falling now. Do you know the reason why? Because 90% of men, their wives are frustrated right now. They are very angry that they, 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 because any function that they want to go, they hide them. You will see the man first. And the woman will be behind. When you put your hand behind, your, your wife will begin to 
kick you somewhere or push you. But if you love that person, that person will be by your side. That is the reason why God didn't take the ribs, you know, from behind. But God took it from the side. So always let her be by your side, but not behind. The function, you will see the man first. And the, where is your wife? Oh, 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 she's coming. She's coming. And the wife will come. The man will not even preserve a, a what? A seat. The woman will come and will be looking in the whole thing. And the man will be here and the wife will be somewhere. What do you have to hide that woman? There are some men, their wife, they are very beautiful than the man. But because they have more women, they don't want the girls to know that this is my wife. So always they hide their wives. Present your wife. Because that your wife is more beautiful than your girlfriends. Everybody shout hallelujah. Let people know. Don't hide your wife. Twelve thirty-five. No, no. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, any strange woman that the enemy has already assigned and to cut my hair and to cut yours. As a lady, any strange man that the enemy has won and to, it will never come to pass. Your God will preserve you. Your God will guide you. Attorney, I want everybody to watch this. Why the authorities and that woman cut that guy's hair? Why? Because they found out that that was the area his strength was. Am I right? So, the enemy, anytime the devil wants to attack someone, he will first attack where your strength and your strength you have in the Lord is his joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So, the enemy will begin to attack your joy. It means that the devil is cutting your word, your head. The moment they take your joy, the things they will bring, you will accept it. They will not come once you have the strength. They will first attack your strength. That is why you have to be very careful for you not to let your joy you have in the Lord go out. You become lukewarm Christian. When it, instead of you to come at 9 a.m., you know, something will come, you know, okay, by this time, prophet is preaching, go to 11, you know, you are tired, you know, uh, do laundry, you know, on Sundays, do this. But before, it wasn't like that. Yeah. Then you will know that the devil is after your strength. So watch out and change from those things. Number two, the second, because of time, okay, 16, when you go home, the second thing, do you know what happened? When they cut the hair, do you know what happened? They remove his eye. Why they remove his eyes? Your eye represents your vision. And your vision is your future. Never in your life follow a leader who doesn't have vision. Never in your life stick to a leader who doesn't know his where about. You must stick to a leader who has a vision. If your leader doesn't have vision, church, if you don't take care in your life, you become a shipwreck. But if your leader has vision and knows where he's going, and when you begin to monitor that leader or join that leader, you too will get your destination. That is the reason why I can tell you boldly that you are at the right place at the right time. Because your leader has foresight. And I know where we are going. And I will lead you to a perfect place. I shared it here one time. A friend of mine told me that, Jamal, 
with these people you have in the whole thing. Ah, Jamal, 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 you're a good guy. I said, good guy for what? Ah, Jamal. With these people, ah, if I have only Donald Trump in the whole uh, uh, Bill Gates in my church, and if I don't have any church members, I will pray to only Bill Gates. We will pay tight in the whole thing. I came up Mr. Joe's place. That was the time I raised the guy's phone number. I took everything. I said, you cannot be my friend because you corrupt me. You destroy my mind. I have to stick to good people. It means that you have the money. And when you are with that leader, church, there is no way you can get to your destination because his vision is money. Vision goes beyond what? Money. Why they remove the eye of that guy? It means that this guy cannot see again. Now his strength is gone. And now his vision no more. And they call this one to come and entertain them. A mighty guy, a mighty warrior, a giant. At the end of the day, because of a strange woman, the guy became an entertainer. And when you go home and read 16 all, you will see something. The word of the Lord said that, and Samson prayed unto God and said, that, Lord, let my strength, what is, let my strength come back. Let me die with this. Let just one blow, am I right, finish all of them. But Samson didn't pray for his sight, but he prayed for the strength. And Samson used the word that, let me die with these people when you go home because they remove my eyes. And that eye thing was very painful. And something used that word because they remove my eyes. Let me die with them. Why? Because, Papa, if my strength comes back, now that they've already removed my eye, let my strength come back and let me die with them. That is called unfinished job. Samson could have done mighty things, but because of a strange woman. Strange women can cut your vision short. Strange men can cut your vision short. Strange friends can cut your vision short. Strange woman, strange man, and strange friends. You think it's only strange women and men? Strange friends. Strange one. Satan can send them, can link them and begin to get information. Some of you are telling, oh, this is my prayer partner. My pra Listen to me. Anytime you want to get a prayer partner, it is good for you to have one. Check first. Pray and see if that person that you want to choose as prayer partner has the right spirit. Consult your prophet. Some of you just like that, emotional time. Oh, you can be my prayer warrior. And listen to me, a guy just met you, you know, oh, I love you, you know, you are good. When you went to you call your prayer partner, oh, my God, I met a guy, his name is John. Oh, my God, let's pray. And every morning, 6 a.m., do you know the person you are discussing your things with? May the Lord be with you. God bless you all. Touch your heart. Touch your heart. May the living God today take you and I out from strange people. Amen. Hey, Pastor Eric, you are all the way in Delaware. Okay? You know, there was a time I told you something long, long, long time ago. That any preacher or someone that we will try to invite, if you remember, I have to know. Shh. Do you know the reason why? Because the enemy, the way God is doing things over there, the enemy can release a strange pastor. So if your leader knows who has the eye of God in the whole thing, we don't have to invite this one. When a strange pastor mount your pulpit, when they leave, there'll be confusion. Strange pastors. Strange agents. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. 
In life, in life, things happen for a reason. Every thing that happened in your life, church, you must learn something out of. Excuse me, don't be stupid. Strange people. Strange people can come into your vision and the whole thing and cause commotion. Strange ones. A business person, you want to start a business. That person that have powerful idea, you want to bring that person. Your ideas will, cannot entice me, but I must check your spirit first. Amen. We have dream killers. Yeah. That are some people, when you attack them to your, your dreams and the whole thing, they can finish. Church, because of that, may the Lord, you know, let's depend on God. Trust everyone, you know, move on with free life and everything. But please, it is my prayer that any agent that the enemy, any strange pastor, any strange friend, any strange husband, any strange auntie, any strange something, may the Lord open our eyes. Because it is good for us to know than to. Because when you know, you will know how to position yourself. May the Lord bless everyone. Shout hallelujah. Bring me the offering bowl right now. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Howard, listen to me. Uh, singers, all oh, my children in the whole team, Joe Tabe, everyone, all the men of God in the whole team. Pastor Apple, God, God, at times, God, not always, God at times can use confusion and take strange people out of your life. Oh, this is my friend, I don't know. I don't know. Just little argument. Doesn't call me anymore. Oh, prophet. Oh, please. You don't know. You never know. God can use confusion to break strange people out of your life so that you will have a room to do certain things. That's why the word of the Lord says that in all things, we give thanks to God. Take your special offer.